This is Lorena Mora Maure for Mujer Latina Today. We're celebrating the Small Business Week, and we are the pleasure to interview today. We have with us Carla Boldery, the director of the Small Business Development Center at Urban League here in Cincinnati. Welcome to Mujer Latina Today. Thank you, Lorena, and thank you, everybody, for watching us. Uh, it's always a pleasure uh, to get a, a space of the media with you. Uh, we appreciate uh, for you contacting us and uh, being able to share what's going on for small businesses here in Cincinnati. Carla, let's talk about business, because you have been working for two or three years already with businesses here in Ohio, with the small businesses. Um, I have been here at the SBDC for almost three years now, uh, specifically focusing on the Hisp Hispanic market uh, and business development. Uh, Ohio is the first state that has a uh, specific Latino approach in the SBDC program, and I'm very proud that I'm part of that. So uh, about uh, you know, just just so you cannot see the type of growth that we're seeing. When I first started um, in this job, we were talking about seven Hispanic uh, businesses. And when we talk about businesses, we talk about people that are in the idea stage of starting a business or that the business has already been established. Obviously, that's not to say that those are the only businesses Hispanic businesses in the area, but at least those were the ones that we had touched. And uh, it, there were seven of them. Now we're going over 170 of those. Um, we are talking about at least uh, half of those have either started their business or they have you know, started to generate some revenue. And just a little bit of background, what we do here at the SBDC, uh, the Ohio's BDC, our mission is to accelerate Ohio's economy, helping people start, sustain, and grow their business. So what we're looking after is to create that business relationship uh, to do three main things. We offer free assistance uh, for at any stage of the uh, the business to help them grow. Uh, we do that, like I said, free. Uh, we don't charge anything for the for the assistance, uh, and we can cover many topics. Another uh, way that we do that is that we offer education opportunities. So you as a business owner, you might have a, a great skill or, or something that have made you start that business, but there might be other areas that you might need assistance on learning how to go about that in order to grow your business. So we offer those throughout the whole year. And the last but not least, we also offer connection to resources. I, I think that is one of the biggest parts of us as a resource is that we are connected through you know the local, state, or federal level within different organizations and resources that can help people grow their own business. So the, what we have learned from the Hispanic business here in Ohio. Okay, well, one of the things that I have personally learned throughout this time that, that I've been exposed to uh, the people and the organizations uh, offering resources is that we're definitely growing. Uh, we're definitely there and we're definitely starting to make a statement and not, not only in the business area, but in many areas as, as Latinos or Hispanics, uh, we are being looked at as a force uh, to to look at. So uh, that that's really important. I think the momentum is there. Uh, there there's a lot of people us as Hispanics, I believe, we do have that great entrepreneurial spirit. Um, and, and definitely, you know, for us to help people cultivate that and transform it into a, a long time business, because that's, that's the whole point, you know, everybody can start their business. Um, that's easy. Um, but the part of sustaining it and growing it, uh, that that's the part where uh, not 
not only only one person can do it so you do need a team of people that can give you their own expertise and help you out to get to the next place so uh, i do again back to the question you know we are there we're growing another of the things is that um, the trust building factor for hispanics it, it is huge so uh, we we as a society, we don't like to ask for a lot of help uh, because it's not well looked at as Hispanics, I believe. And because of that, I don't think that we seek out that help and within this area or in general at all uh, here in the States, there's so many resources that uh, people can get help and get to the next place. Uh, like I said, if it is business, uh, we can certainly help them out or get them with the correct uh, help. So back again into the industry specific, we see we see all types of businesses. Uh, we see people that buy franchises, people that will be a one man shop uh, throughout the whole time of their business. Uh, we do professional services. There is a huge tendency within the area, and I'm not speaking just for Hispanics, but in general, the, the biggest tendency that we see on the growth of small businesses are within professional services and retail. Uh, shops so that we see a lot of uh and like i said that is just sort of, of a trend but we see all array of businesses because once you really get down to it even though there might be some industry specific issues uh normally small business issues will be the same it doesn't matter where the industry is talking about 170 Latino business in Cincinnati. We're celebrating the Small Business Week. Do you have a message that you want to share with the Latinos, with the community, the business, the Latino entrepreneur, to the to the world? How we're working here in Ohio to make a business, a small business, to be successful. Okay. Well, I I do. I want to congratulate everybody that has a small business. If you haven't contacted us. Uh, for assistance or, you know, just to figure out how is it that we can help you out, please do so. Um, my telephone number is 485-1274, or you can email me at kboldery at gcul.org, and, and we can see how we can help you. We are all about the business growth, um, specifically in the Hispanic market, but uh, you we are really looking for that small business momentum. Uh, there is a lot of emphasis on small businesses because small businesses is what drives this country. So, uh, and we're all about trying to get you to the next step, whichever that might be. Uh, that that would be one. Uh, another one, uh, I do work in conjunction with the Hispanic Chamber and um, my clients that have come to me uh, will receive a year uh, membership free for the Hispanic Chamber. There's many ways that you, you know, small business owners can leverage from that. So if you have been my client in the past and we haven't talked for a while, give me a call so I can give you that information so that you can be part of the Hispanic Chamber and maybe they can help you out in some other ways. Uh, Centro Latinos, there is one here in Cincinnati, there's one in Columbus, and one in Cleveland. So if you're in any of those areas, you know anybody that is looking to start a business, uh, have them give us a call and we'll be happy to see how we can help. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Lorena, and have a good day, everybody.